Where did the octopus come from? Researchers have found that the octopus contains a rather strange ability when put in comparison against all other life on Earth. In fact, the octopus may not even be a part of all other life on the Earth. Researchers first realized that there might be an error with the evolutionary timeline of the animal kingdom on our small blue planet given the sudden variation and explosion of life during the Cambrian period, referred to by researchers as the Cambrian Explosion. Interestingly enough, this has caused a team of 33 authors to have published an extensively written, studied and peer-reviewed publication that stated that they believed that it was made fairly obvious that the octopus had developed strange new abilities that its ancestors would not have possessed in the short span of time it would have taken to naturally evolve. These abilities were the sudden appearances of complex nervous systems, camera-like eyes, and a capacity for camouflage that all seem to have evolved rather suddenly and without precedent. This is not nearly the full extent of this strangeness, as recent studies have confirmed that the octopus has the ability to rewrite its own genetic code on the fly and purposefully manipulate its own genetics to accomplish quicker forms of adaptations and developments an ability not seen in all other life. This forced researchers to think outside the box when it came to plausible solutions for this inconsistency with the ancestral family tree and has led to the rather mysterious assumption that it is highly plausible that the octopus cannot be linked to all other life due to the fact that it comes from extraterrestrial means. If it did not come from here, then it must have come from out there. Out there meaning deep space. Do cows have an internal compass? Though it might not appear to be a rather important question, it is the strangeness relative to recent findings that make researchers ponder over the question of whether the domesticated cow is as simple-minded as was originally assumed. For some odd reason that is still completely unknown, cows of all kinds perform a weird and almost synchronized act with the electromagnetic field surrounding the Earth. When a cow of any age begins to eat and start grazing from the cud, not only does its entire herd begin to align themselves in the same general direction, but they all simultaneously begin to align themselves from north to south, and will even turn their heads in the directions of these natural alignments. What is made all the more strange is that regardless of where the cows are in the world, they will still always align themselves naturally north to south, and will somehow know the exact directions of true north and true south. This could very well mean that cows have some form of internal compass, but the mechanisms behind such a feat are still unknown. It is questioned whether or not there could be another cause for this behaviour due to the rising and falling of the sun, and that perhaps cows are merely trying to prevent the glare from striking their eyes, but this does not appear to be the case given that a herd will follow this behaviour even in the pitch black darkness of night. Where is all the life? It might sound like an odd question to ask, given the fact that our little blue planet seems to be teeming with an absurd amount of life and variations of it, but that does not seem to be also the case anywhere else in the universe. In fact, it is so much not the case that it is mathematically implausible. For comparison, the Milky Way galaxy is filled with roughly 400 billion stars 20 billion of these 400 billion are suspected to be sun-like stars. Understanding the new advancements made by the Kepler Space Telescope, we know that roughly one-fifth of those sun-like stars have at least an Earth-sized planet in a habitable zone which can vary greatly as the recent discovery of the Trappist system that held seven Earth-like planets in habitable zones seemed pretty common. If even so little as 0.1% of those planets had life on them, or some variation of life, then there would be roughly one million planets with life in just the Milky Way galaxy. But there isn't. Even taking time into consideration only seems to make the math more implausible. The chances for life are pretty great. The Milky Way itself is about 13 billion years old. The first habitable planets in the Milky Way would have come into existence about 2 billion years after the universe was formed. This leaves about 11 billion year periods since our formation for other advanced life 
to have been formed and since Earth is only 4 billion years old, there has most likely been trillions of likely chances and scenarios in the Milky Way alone for life on other planets to pop into existence. All we would require to notice other life would be for just one species of these trillions of potential incidences to advance into a space-faring civilization. Given that research states that our population growth and technological rate would allow human beings to colonize the entire Milky Way galaxy in about two million years, if we assume all outcomes the same, we would be able to see an alien civilization by now considering the time, chances and probability of other life to have formed. The fact that we do not is horrifying. This had led many researchers to believe that maybe the forming of complex life isn't the issue and that perhaps there is an extinction level event to filter out the formation of complex life right around the corner, including for ourselves. Where is all the lithium? While we are still on the topic of things in the universe not quite adding up, another question that has puzzled research scientists is the lack of the element lithium in our solar system. Current standard models of cosmology argues that three elements would have formed in abundance during the Big Bang. Hydrogen, helium and lithium. For some unknown reason, lithium seems to be incredibly rare in the universe compared to its hydrogen and helium counterparts and has often left researchers racing to attempt to solve this question. Further experimental observations had found that the current amount of lithium in the atmospheres of the universe's oldest and most abundant stars seem to have less than one-third the amount predicted, and other stars and areas to be completely void of the element entirely. Hypotheses have been put forward as to the potential cause for this element to have gone missing from the face of the universe, but none have been confirmed with reasonable accuracy. Given the importance of lithium in modern technology, the answer to this mystery could really benefit humanity as a whole and would help us to solve and better understand our current cosmological view of our universe and its formations. SARS coronavirus Known by its acronym SARS, the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus is a highly contagious and extremely fatal respiratory illness that first appeared in China around November of 2002. The respiratory virus upon infection can immediately cause an elevated fever and shortness of breath that begins to progressively worsen as time goes on, which led dry coughs that spread the disease far more efficiently than its predecessor, influenza. In fact, the SARS coronavirus is a strain of mutated influenza that has become efficient in its rate of infection and when it first appeared in 2002, it led to a large, fast-spreading pandemic originally projected to be a modern-day epidemic. Fortunately enough, after two years of combined international effort, the SARS coronavirus was completely contained. However, efforts to produce a working vaccine for the virus are still yet to be produced. This has allowed the disease enough time and victims to enhance its infectious abilities to now be able to infect via the air when someone with the disease coughs, sneezes or talks, and even through contaminated objects such as doorknobs, telephones and elevator buttons. Future projections of the SARS coronavirus are not looking good and it appears to be one of the only modern viruses still working to be contained and handled by international health organisations across the world. Avian Flu Referred to more commonly as bird flu, avian influenza, though no longer a danger in the modern age, was responsible for one of the greatest epidemics in the history of mankind. Back in 1918, avian influenza spread worldwide for an entire year, with an estimated 500 million people becoming infected by the virus. Back during this time, the world population was only about 1.5 billion individuals, and so the infected population made up for more than one-third of the total world population in the early 1900s. This led to bird flu being responsible for more than 50 million deaths worldwide and made a lasting impact on the world since its appearance. Though not much was understood about the viral outbreak and its origin, today different variations of bird flu still exist and random outbreaks have popped up all around the world since then. 
Given the advancements in the modern age relative to science and medicine, however, it does not appear to be much of a threat in the coming years. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.